you know you're doing something right when your eight-year-old son just randomly walks up to you and goes, Hello and welcome back to Chris the Butcher and Friends. Yes, brothers and sisters, it was a proud moment. Oh. So tonight's video is not the Stella, right? You know I drink that all the time. I do shift it around a little bit. Stella mixed in with it, a Carlsberg export. Maybe the odd Nuki Brown. Uh, the more Stella topped onto more Stella, right? None of that Carlin horse piss, right? But I have got some of these. Mr. Brains Point Faggots. So, brothers and sisters, we're having one of these. Brothers and sisters, I give to you Chris the Butcher's Super Cool Review. So in 42 years, I've been on this God's green earth, full of shit. I have never ever had Mr. Brain's faggots, right? I know it sounds silly, don't it? Faggots. Eh? It means so many different things. Right? I have never had these, ever. They've always been a little bit too expensive for me, but I've been at local FASDA, uh, uh, right? £1.50. If you want to know what that is in the region you live in, Google it. But yeah, Mr. Brain's the family favourite since 1925. Four port faggots and a classic West Country sauce. Well, we got some to read. Here we go. A traditional butcher from Bristol started making delicious heartwarming family meals in 1925. That's what he says. That's all, that's nearly 100 fucking years ago. His classic port faggot recipe, a unique West Country sauce, became a firm family favourite across the land. Today, the same passion and love goes into creating each hearty dish, making a Mr. Brain's traditional recipe the nation's favourite faggots. Oh, I just can't get over that they have faggots. Why are they called faggots? To me, they look like fucking meatballs. But they're not the faggots. Uh, let's delve into this, right? Well, the fucking hell are the ingredients? Are my favourite bits. West Country sauce, 62% of what? I don't know. I don't. I, don't, I never get these percentages and shit. Uh, it contains water. Wait! Flour. Calcium carbonate. Iron. Niacin. Theanin. Ugh. Modified starch. Port lard. Tomato puree. Salt. Colour. Caramel. Sugar. Yeast action. Extract. Flavourings. Onion. Celery! Rapeseed oil. Port faggots. 38%. <laughs> contains water. Rust. Wait! Flour. You get the gist, don't you? It has more weight in it, and that's it. And the allergens. Do you know what? Let's not fuck around here. Uh, it cooks in the oven in 55 minutes, right? But we're sticking it in the microwave today. And that takes uh, 11 minutes. Fucking hell. But you're going to cook it from frozen. Yeah, they're still frozen. So let's delve down here. Read the instructions and bang a bit microwave. So there is our Mr. Brains faggots. Now all we need to do is get these out of the box. Yeah. I'm not liking the look of this. It's in a foil tray. Uh, microwave instruction. Remove all packaging, transfer faggot sauce into a similar sized microwavable dish and cover with loose fitting lid. Bollocks. Right, I'll be back when I find a fucking dish for this shit. Right, I'm sorry, brothers and sisters. But that is about the best this is going to get. I thought I'd just stick it right in the microwave. Oh, no. I have to take it out of the packaging. I have to put it in a bowl. I have to sing to it. I have to caress it. Tell it a bedtime story. One load of bullshit. Right? Right, and all this. Is the lid, is, the lid is frozen to the product. Yeah, we'd all that, right? Heat on full power for seven minutes. Right, that's going in the microwave for seven minutes. I'll be back then. Mm. 
Right, we've finished. Right, that has been seven minutes. And oh my God. Can you see that? Let's get this out there. Okay. Oh, oh, that is hot. Leave the, I'll leave the microwave door open. Right, let's, let's pan down here now. Right. That is my faggers. You know, let's, let's, you know I mean, this is the crude. This is crude. This is about cutting it. Out. I'm doing this lead, right real time. Now you take the lid off, and apparently, right? You know what? They don't smell too bad. These. You turn the fa right. Apparently, you turn the faggots over. These faggots that are breaking apart, and burning me freaking fingers. You turn them over. Oh. Give the sauce a bit of a, a bit of a stir. It's not like I can stir much in here. Seriously, though, it don't look, don't look, it just looks like a lot of, a lot of meatballs in bisto, doesn't it? Tastes alright, though. And I'm going to bang that monstrous piece of shit there back in my microwave for six minutes. Come on. Play the game. There we are. Six minutes. So the next time you see this, oh shit! Hang on. It put post put fucking foil back on it. Not that like that's doing fuck all, is it? Right. I'll see you in five minutes and forty five seconds, people. Right, my brothers and sisters, that has been six minutes, and this ball is like motion. Fucking lava! Jesus! And that has curled up like a tortilla. And that is what we are left with. Now, it does recommend that you let it stand for one minute. One fucking minute? What is one minute going to do to the heat of that? I suggest at least a fortnight, right? Listen, let's not talk, but let's not mention fortnight. Because Connor, he started playing fortnight, and I ain't seen him in two fucking days. But yeah, yeah, let's have a close up. Oh. That looked like shit, yeah? Looked like shit. So we'll leave that for a minute or 20. And we'll delve in and slide it down me gizzard. So I've let that sit now for a good 10 minutes. And it's still steaming like the surface of the sun. But I can't put this off any longer. I've got to slide it down my gizzard, Anna, and give you the taste test on these brains port faggots. Want to get a bit of that, a good lump of that gravy. Focus. There you go. Oh, all over the kitchen top. That loo's going to have to clean up in the morning. Yes. Right. Oh, Stella kicked in then. This is boiling up. Uh, it's turning to mince. <laughs> and it's going everywhere. Another steaming hot pile of lava on me fork going in my gizzard. Do you know what? I'm not keen. Right, we'll pop up here and we'll talk more about it. Right, so you're going to want my opinion on them brains, pork, faggots. Let me just... Get a swig of me, uh, me good old Stella. Yuri Geller. Get that taste of shit out of my mouth. That's what I thought of them. Now, there's no way on this earth they taste like they did in 1925. But I'm guessing there's not many people around alive that could verify that. Especially the butcher from Bristol. Who swore by them. Right, they, they lack salt, which that's the government's fault. You gotta take salt out of fucking everything. Take the, the take the decision of the, the common man away from him. 
Fuck you. Right? It lacks any sort of flavour. Right? So let's let's mark it out of ten. Right? Value for money. One pound fifty. I'll give it a six. Right? Give it a six. Taste. A uh, good solid three. There. Fucking easiness, fucking one, because I got a, what I thought was a microwavable meal and had to prep it like a fucking Michelin star dish. What a load of bullshit. And it still took 11 minutes in a fucking microwave. What a load of bollocks. Right? I think I've just covered it now. Right, out of 10, I'm giving that a four out of 10. Basically, absolute dog shit. So what I'm saying is, right, it's not like you can get it out of the freezer when you've had a night on the beer, is it? And you're wandering around the fucking kitchen and you're all that late fucking kebab shop was shut, right? Because you have to fuck around emptying it into bowls, putting the lid back on, putting it in the microwave for an eon, stirring it, turning the faggots over that like fucking basically dust, right? Like fucking dust. The only good side of that was the gravy weren't bad, right? Throw the faggots away. Stick some fucking chips with it. Might be alright. A lump of cheese, half a pound of fucking salt. And away you go, you've got a nice delicious chips and gravy. Minus the faggots. Because they're crap. Anyway, I didn't like that. But if you like this, press like. Comment. Share all your social media and subscribe. I become a family member of hashtag Team CTB, where I fucking love you.